That brat is unbelievable. Can't let us in on account of our being too common indeed. The preening little snob. It's been a while since the initiation, but he is still just as obnoxious as ever. And yet tomorrow he's going to be marrying the princess. Can you believe it? Wait a minute. The ring. You still have the ring, don't you? The one that belonged to your father. If you have it with you, go and show it to King Clavius. If he knew you were his nephew, he might just change his mind about this ridiculous marriage. Go and find him at the Lord High Priest's place and see what he says. It has to be worth a try. Adventurer, I gave the royal magic mirror to some time ago. What brings you here tonight? You look like you have something important to tell me. That ring. It's set with an argon heart. How on earth did you acquire it? Admit that your tale is enough to give even me pause. It sounds as if you truly are Eltrio's son. How else could you possibly know all the things you just told me? Hmm. If my brother had not left his country behind to go after your mother, he would be king of Argonia now. And if you had been born a prince, then I suppose it would be you marrying Princess Medea tomorrow. But those are just what-ifs. It would throw the kingdom into turmoil if another heir appeared at this late hour. I cannot possibly recognize your claim. Please try not to think badly of me. You must consider the subject closed. Please leave now. Rise and shine, Gav. We've come all this way. We should at least try and get a glimpse of her all dolled up. I'll go on ahead then, eh? I'll be waiting in front of that big church. We 
thought you weren't coming. The ceremony's already started. It's bedlam up there with all those people. I doubt anyone would notice you among the crowd. I was more like her. I'm more interested in seeing the new Lord High Priest than the bride and groom. But it's impossible to see anything from here. <laughs> Congratulations, Princess Medea! Congratulations, Prince Charles! Hey, stop pushing! What? Oh. There you are, Gav. I knew you'd turn up. Right, this way. Follow me. Well, we've got this far. Now, we just have to take care of that knight. Me, Gav. Go on, in you go. Honestly, where has the princess got to? What's taking her so long? Wedding? I won't stand for it. Guards, get rid of him at once. Wait. That will not be necessary. He has a right to be at this ceremony. I... I have reconsidered. You are the rightful groom. Father? How can you say such a thing? I'm the rightful groom. Yesterday evening, the boy you see standing there gave me this ring. What's that? Is it an Argon ring? I don't understand. Only members of the royal family who've passed the initiation should have a wing like that. This ring belonged to my elder brother. It was Eltrio's ring. That boy is his son. It is only right that he should be the one to marry Princess Medea. No! I won't allow it! Princess Medea is promised to me! So I'm the one who's going to be marrying her! Pardon me for interrupting you, Majesty. I've just received word that the bride is now ready to make her appearance. Open the doors! Allow the bride to enter!
Oh, blimey, Father.
It's been a long journey. A lot has happened along the way, but it's all worked out well in the end. How curious to think that you would have been Prince of Argonia had things been different. <laughs> Fate deals strange hands indeed. Well, Ooh, to those old promises made so many years ago. Now you two are free to decide your own destiny. Never mind that now, Father. Look, we're home. Home for good. <laughs> <laughs>